happiest man alive. <laughs> right, uh, has everyone seen that program, uh, Take Me Out? Yeah. Right, I'll introduce myself in a more familiar way. Da, 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 da. Hello girls, my name's Josh, I'm from Essex. My talent's being a complete fucking mug. <laughs> I have no other relevant jokes to that. How's everybody doing? <laughs> you good? Right, uh, basically I've noticed, and this is more of a political thing I guess, but the people that are English in this country, they're more sort of paranoid about other ethnicities and stuff, like see they see a black guy or an Asian guy, they're like, oh god. And it's, it's just like, it's strange, it's not necessary, but I mean, I think the fashion sense they have is a bit misleading, like, uh, you know burkas? Oh, they know what's coming. But um, basically, the thing is, it's a bit misleading because they, I mean, when I was younger, I used to think that people that wore burkas were like the girl versions of ninjas. I used to be, oh, fuck me, what's that? But the thing is, they've got red ones now. <laughs> Have you seen the ones that are in red now? It's like, you know how post boxes are on the corner of most streets? Well, basically, I can imagine one day, one of them standing on the corner. I don't know, they're always on corners. They're waiting for a bus, and then someone comes back with a package. They go to go out of the corner. <laughs> they just knock them square out of a package to their mum with cookies in it. <laughs> Can you just imagine that? Oh, they've got it in the other hand. It's even worse. You do a Mike Tyson to the cunt. You just come around and go, <laughs> lost your package and her teeth. Look at her. But no, seriously, it's even worse when you're on the tube. Because, I mean, like, you know when you're on the tube and you're sitting down and someone, like, 9-11 he comes on. <laughs> and you're sitting there and you're like, oh, fuck. And you look at, you, you either check for a backpack or a beard. Those are the two signs, ladies and gentlemen. You look for a backpack or a beard and they can look quite shifty. I mean, granted, most sort of Asians, ethnics, whatever, they're fine. They look nice. But granted, some look quite shifty. I mean, come on, I mean, when they walk up, the beard ones are the worst. I mean, but, I don't know if it's just me, but I do like an analysis of the person. Now they sit in front of me, right, right, what am I working with? Sometimes they have that stare about them that thinks I'm going to kill people. And I think, oh, fuck. But I mean, you, and I don't know if it's just me, but I analyse the clothes. Like, you have to sit there and think, right, he's, he's got an Armani shirt, he ain't blowing up in there. Because you know what I mean, you check the odds of them blowing up. You've got nothing better to do. Right, he's wearing an Armani shirt. He's got a laptop with him. Hang. It's a Mac, it's a Mac. He ain't blowing up. No one blows up a Mac. They're too fucking expensive. But it's just bad. I mean, I mean the, the backpacks, I mean, people get overly paranoid about that as well. And then it got me thinking, you know the people, if I was to blow myself up, I wouldn't do it in good clothes. I mean, I look for the ones that are like, you know, in like trackers. They're like, oh, fuck it, these clothes are crap, and I'll blow myself up. And then it got me thinking, do people that go and blow things up, do they dress for the occasion? Do they think about what they're going to look like? No, you can just imagine it, you know, like the, the morning before a bombing. Jesminda! Yeah? Uh, basically, um, what am I wearing for this? Because what, what, what shirts can I use? I don't want to... Well, use the blue one. It's just been... It's not been washed and we don't want to... You don't want to wash it again because you might as well use it. Yeah, but I'm not wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday. I don't, if, if my body is still in a bit of a decent piece... <laughs> They're not gonna, they're gonna look at me and see the clothes I was wearing yesterday. Come on, bit of class, love. And then you're like, um, no, right, what clothes is there? Oh, the blue shirt. That's not a woman voice. The blue shirt. Oh, the blue shirt. No, oh, I've got a blue wire. No, no, if the shirt's open, you see the blue and yellow wire, it clashes. Come on. Wear a suit. No, who what bomber wears a suit? Come on, love. I know I'm going a bit into this. I'll stop now. I think people are starting to cry. But, um, no, nah, at the end of the day, I could never be a bomber. I mean, no, 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 I could, right, let me rephrase it. I could never be a terrorist. That must fucking cost a bomb to do. <laughs> yeah, that was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> that was bad. But uh, talking on the financial front, they must save, like, a fair bit of money, you know, like, looking good. I mean, if you're wearing just, like, a burqa, you're not going to dress underneath that. Do you reckon when... A, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they're bad. Like, like, let's say like a Muslim woman goes to the beach. Are they, are they wearing a bathing suit underneath to accommodate? Or is no point? No, there's no point, is there? No. But I mean, they're going to save like a fortune on like haircuts. Because they have all the turbans, the headgear, like the helmets and that. 
Guess where I'm going, guess what topic? Bang! Hairdressers. Yes, I'm in there from terrorism, everyone. I managed it. Right. Who here is there actually, is there anyone doing hairdressing? Uh, here in here? Anyone here doing the hairdressing course? Oh thank fuck, you all have an IQ over 100, that's good. Right, but let me go through the process of why I hate hairdressing. First off, you pick the name of the place. Right, they've all got like, have you noticed the clever names these days? They've got like hair raising, scissor cut. Uh, uh, yeah. Uppercut. Yeah, that's a brawler's place. They, they only do number ones, bitch. Uppercut. That's a brawler's place. But no, right, every guy knows that if you're looking for a new hairdresser, you're strolling past, the ones with the hotter girls in the window, come on. You want them leaning over you. And that's another thing I noticed, that when, when you go there and they've got hot girls, you sort of, you're paying for their time. They're like the kind of prostitutes of the hair world. They'll be, they'll be talking to you. And you're sort of like, I don't know if anyone else has done this, but you can see them like in the mirror. And you kind of whisper something they can't hear, and you're like, yeah. And then they lean over and say, what? And you're like, nothing. You're not leaning over and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's drunk at the bar. Needs haircut as well. <laughs> Get out. No, but no, uh, right. When I'm sitting there as well, it's the most fucking awkward thing. <laughs> Emphasis. That's the most awkward thing going. You sit there and you've got like this much space from a wall or a mirror and you've got the questionable mouthwash with a comb in it. It does look nice. No one's not thought of drinking that green or blue stuff. But it just gets so awkward. I mean, you have to force conversation. Like, has anyone sat there and they're like, you, you do that awkward thing where you're looking, you're looking, you're avoiding things. Oh, there's a nice bit of hair on the floor. Oh, fuck. Eye contact. And then you're like, uh, do you like goats? Ah, oh, fuck. Ruined that. Right, I'm getting a signal that I should leave. I don't know whether I've been reported to the police or people have just gone over my time. But, uh, cheers, Masla. Don't you think? Bye bye.